Greetings. My life's work as a psychiatrist and futurist examines culture from a very big picture perspective. But it's also pertinent to current circumstances, both making sense of them and providing guidance as we look to the future. The short pieces on this site are an invitation for conversation about today's most important questions. Sometimes I'll simply offer observations that I think are important, but as often I'll be responding to questions that could come from you. The first handful of episodes will set the stage for those that follow. I see us living in both very challenging and easily contradictory seeming times. On one hand, we find rich new possibilities, and I don't mean just technological possibilities. I mean new possibilities with regard to what we are capable of as humans, as leaders, as lovers, in a relationship to the larger well-being of the planet. And at the same time, there are ways in which today's circumstances can often seem quite crazy. We see dangerous degrees of social discord and division, denial around multiple questions where failure to respond wisely could be our undoing, and an epidemic of distraction that often distances us from exactly what will be needed if we are to effectively move forward. Here we will explore how we can understand both realities in relationship to essential changes reshaping how we humans think and act. Creative systems theory, the body of work that defines much of my life's efforts, describes how our times are challenging us to an essential kind of growing up as a species, what it caused a needed new cultural maturity. Fully grasping what cultural maturity is about requires stepping back and looking at the long term, and it necessarily stretches how people usually think. But as I see things, the concept could not be more significant. If it is not basically correct, it is hard to be legitimately hopeful about our human future. A major portion of my life has been involved with making sense of these changes. That includes nearly 50 years of committed inquiry and developing creative systems theory. It also includes nearly 25 years directing the Institute for Creative Development, the Seattle-based think tank and Center for Advanced Leadership Training that applied the new human capacities that come with this necessary new chapter in how we understand and act. Over time, I've written 11 books and numerous articles that in different ways apply the concept of cultural maturity to the tasks ahead. Conversations here will reflect what I have learned in those efforts. We'll address some of the, new, some of the kinds of craziness that I just noted and how culturally mature understanding allows us to address them. And more particularly, we will examine some of those new possibilities, how this needed next chapter in our human story offers a newly possible depth of connection with ourselves, the possibility of relating with others in more nuanced and rewarding ways, and also new, more creative approaches to understanding. Culture maturity asks of us may at first sound rather complicated and a bit overwhelming. And certainly it is true that realizing this needed growing up will demand a lot of us. But I'll also propose that getting there may be more an option than we might imagine. If we had to create culture mature understanding from whole cloth, hope would not be warranted. But culture maturity is a developmental notion. If what I will describe is accurate, at least as potential, it is built into who we are. What it requires simply is courage and commitment on our part. An important, perhaps surprising, further recognition similarly follows from this developmental picture. While needed next steps make significant demands, ultimately what they ask is not that complicated. It is really quite common sense. 
It is simply that this is a maturity of common sense that before now would not have been fully understandable. In fact, we would not have been able to fully tolerate it. Here it will argue that cultural maturities needed new common sense as what any kind of future we would want to live in is ultimately depends on. I will give attention equally to the huge demands our times present and the ultimately common sense and also profound nature of new possibilities. I look forward to these conversations. The note below this screen includes a link with instructions for how to send in questions. There's nothing I enjoy more than a good question. Thanks.